Well, welcome to this abbreviated training on International's S13 Integrated Powertrain. Today we'll be talking about the three main components of the powertrain. We have International's after treatment unit here. We have International's T14 transmission here. And then we have the S13 engine down at this end. This is International's S13 engine. The three main takeaways with this is number one, there's no EGR cooler. It uses a fixed geometry turbo and it produces up to 15% fuel economy increase. What's important about no EGR cooler is to understand that we've eliminated the use of EGR in controlling NOx on the engine. We use the after treatment module down there for reducing NOx. So what we've done is we only use the EGR valve to add heat to the combustion process to light up the cats on the after treatment module, but there's no EGR used in controlling NOx in the engine. So the engine is a clean burn engine. Couple that with the double overhead cam engine and you've got an engine that produces 515 horsepower with 1,850 pound feet of torque. So here we have International's T14 transmission. It's a 14 speed transmission with two crawler gears and an overdrive. It was designed as an automated manual transmission from the very beginning. It utilizes an electronic clutch actuator and it also comes with International's PTOs. So the good thing about this is with this power takeoff, if it comes from the factory, it has the same warranty as the transmission. It can be added on afterwards pretty easily. Uh, at that point, it's gonna have a standard parts warranty, but if you know you want a PTO, it's best to get it installed at the factory, and that warranty will be the same as the transmission. This is International's after treatment module. We do not use diesel dosing with this powertrain, so there's no DOC with this after treatment module. The beauty of this module is that it takes care of all the NOx reduction. The engine doesn't do any of that. So we've eliminated, for the most part, doing parked regens. We use passive regen with this, so we're not having to pull over for the, the on highway units and do an active regen. That that's burning up fuel and, and wasting time. This is greenhouse gas 2024 compliant. It's also CARB or California Air Resources Board Family B certified, which means that this vehicle, even though it cannot be sold new in California yet, it can be registered as a used vehicle after six months and 7,500 miles. This is the basis for the 2027 emissions standards. There will be a few modifications to this, but ultimately this basic block will be the same basic block that we'll use for 2027 compliance. So that's a quick summary of the International S13 Integrated Powertrain. For more information, check out MaximInc.com.